Welcome back to yet another unboxing on the Drum Blanket channel. Today, we are unboxing a gaming headset by a company called Mix Cedar. The Mix Cedar gaming headset. This headset features a 7.1 virtual surround option as well as a bass rumble option giving you a little bit lower lows having a nice rumble effect nothing vibration or anything like that nothing like your rumbles in your controllers it just adds a little rumble to the bass along with that an RGB lighting blue is the color on top of the white headset which makes it look extremely slick this headset goes for $200 on Amazon.com and right now you can pick up your own set for $52.99 I believe it is it's on sale and on top of that in the description you'll find a link where you can enter a contest to get a free pair McSeeder is giving these away you'll find on the Facebook you, all you have to do is just go there and tell them hey saw the video on drum blankets channel I'm entering for the contest and you should be entered into the contest to win your own free gaming headset by Mix Cedar. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this thing, shall we? The company Mix Cedar, that's how I like to pronounce it. I've heard people call it Mixter, um, but Mix Cedar seems to be the most logical, I think. I don't know. This company has a great line of headsets and they have recently just expanded into the gaming headset market and they sent me a copy of this a copy they sent me this uh, to kind of go through and discuss with you where you can get it and what's in the box uh, for those of you who don't know Mix Cedar has actually had headsets on the market for a while now they have something called like the share me headset it's a Bluetooth headset. CNET gave them awards for that headset, so it was apparently like a really good headset for that year. I think that was just last year, as a matter of fact. Anyway, uh, this is the only gaming headset that they have available right now. It doesn't have any kind of, I guess it's called the power. I'm not sure, maybe. The, the I don't know, that's what it says down here. Um, you can find this on mixcedar.com. And you can also find it on Amazon. There's a link in the description below. And it will take you to either the U.S. Amazon, the United, um, the, U the United Kingdom Amazon, or the Japanese Amazon, to where you can pick up your own set of these. These normally retail for $200. Right now, at this moment that this is being uh, created, this video, you can actually pick this up for about $52 dollars and shipping on Amazon right now so these are on sale for a drastic price reduction these feature 7.1 virtual surround sound and they also have a vibration effect which is apparently something in the bass uh, your basses seem bassier and they vibrate a little so that's kind of interesting it also features RGB lighting uh, with a breathing effect, kind of like a pulsating RGB lighting effect. Uh, this is for the PC. Uh, right now they don't have anything available for gaming consoles. But if these do well, then I'm sure we will see a much larger line of video gaming headsets from them in the future. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. It's got the typical... Uh, tabs here that hold the box together, hold it closed rather. And cannot thank Mix Cedar enough for asking me to do this for them. Very cool. I love reviewing tech products. All right, so we're gonna pop this guy open, pull it out here, and see what we've got inside here. Again, there's the box, mixcedar, mixcedar.com, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, a box within a box. Within a box. There we go. All right. Here 
here they are. Okay, so what do we have here? So you had a super user program and an extra warranty program. This says a golden card. I think that's something that obviously comes with every single one of these. Has uh, your Uh, it just uh, directs you to other website or well their website you can also register your product that's all that's inside of that part of the box all right so first of all let's take a look at the USB cable this is a well constructed USB cable it's a good thick product it, it, it has a glossy Type. It feels, you know, like kind of like the typical one. It doesn't feel like cloth, although I'm sure it kind of comes across as like a cloth looking USB cable. It is not. So that's pretty cool. All right, now these have some size to them. They're not outrageously huge or anything, but they are quite bulky, as in, you know, I feel there's, there's some weight to it. They don't feel like cheap. Um, you know, cheap products or anything like that. Seriously cool. The microphone, which is actually uh, maneuverable here. And I'm going to show you the difference between, say, another gaming headset, um, a studio microphone, and what this microphone sounds like. That way you have something to uh, compare them to. You have one, two buttons on the front, and then your volume up and volume uh, down on the back. So that's easy to remember. This here mutes your microphone, and I believe this turns on your surround sound. So four buttons, they're all in the same area, and they're distinguishable by having the volume in the back, and then your on and off functions in the front. Super easy to remember that. Um, these have a nice kind of feel to them here. I can tell that these are real plushy and probably be able to sit around wearing these headset, wearing this headset for several hours and it won't even bother you. When, when I'm doing the microphone uh, check, I'll discuss about comfort and stuff like that. And I'll also show you what it looks like with the lights on, with the breathing effect. But so far, I am pretty impressed with how these look and feel. I definitely feel that these are worth the money that you're going to spend, especially right now with them being on sale for only $52. Super cool, super cool idea. All right, let's uh, get into the computer part of the session. I'm going to hook this up to the computer. I'm going to set up the 7.1 surround sound. I'm going to take a listen to that and I'm going to compare it to another headset so that way I can give you a you know a fair assessment a fair opinion as to what you know how, how good they sound and all that because that's the most important thing looks are great and they're stylish and, and and it works and everything and they're not too heavy and they feel comfortable those are all super important but headphones without good sound it's it's like having a hole in your hose there's no reason for it. It's garbage. It's not something that we're going to want. So we're going to find out the goods about this gaming headset. Once we plug in our gaming headset to the PC, it's going to automatically install your driver software. There is not a separate disc that comes with this. Everything you need is within the gaming headset itself. Funny enough, the gaming headset will work from Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 8 and Windows 10 so it goes back quite a ways and I don't really think anybody's still using Windows 98 definitely not uh, justifiable um, to spend a $200 gaming headset on you know running Windows 98 or whatever but hey if that's what you're doing you can do that uh, what you'll do is you'll go down to your uh, sound icon here you're gonna right click that and you're gonna go to playback devices I would do it but every time I do that Fraps locks up and I don't get to keep the footage. This is about the fifth time I've actually shot this and it's getting quite annoying and this is my solution. So what will happen is you'll go in there, you'll make sure that you have it uh, enabled 
and then you'll configure your speakers and when you do that you're going to notice that it says uh, stereo and to in to enable the virtual surround you will go into properties and then up to enhancements and then you will check off virtual surround uh, again that is a virtual surround simulated experience and it is well worth the fifty two dollars and ninety nine cent price range because they're on sale right now uh, i was able to compare them to the plantronics uh... gaming headset that i have those actually have dolby so simulated surround sound and the pc recognizes it as a seven point one surround sound headset so while there's definitely going to be a difference between what true surround sound is in a gaming headset compared to what simulated is uh, it is still a very very effective surround sound system so now comes time for us to compare what different microphones sound like compared to the microphone of the headset on the Mix Cedar gaming headset. The microphone that I'm using right now is a Shure SM7B and in order to get that to run through to my computer I have to use an XLR to USB uh, adapter which is also made by Shure. It is uh, the XL I'm sorry the X2U and this is what I use for most of my commentary work now uh, before that I was doing a lot of work in the studio and right now I'm basically just giving you information that you don't really need this is just about being able to listen to the quality of this microphone compared to the next microphone which is actually the Plantronics gaming headset let's go ahead and have a listen to what that sounds like and comparing what you just listened to to this microphone you should definitely be able to hear a difference right away there's a lot more hiss in this microphone this is the Plantronics microphone uh, on that gaming headset this is definitely usable however I really hate that hiss it's one of the reasons why I got the XLR to USB um, preamp for my SM7B again this is all strictly for audio reference and I am specifically speaking right now so you can hear the difference between what you just heard and what you're hearing now and what you are about to hear so let's move on to the Mix Cedar gaming headset microphone and now compared to the Mix Cedar gaming headset now I've turned these all the way up uh, to get a good amount of intake you can hear that there is warmth there's definitely a lot more warmth to these than the uh, Plantronics gaming headset and still a very cool sounding microphone however uh, with this particular one I'm kind of hearing what sound what I describe as the mp3 um, jingle and I'm not sure if that's coming across in this video or not but when I was testing it and listening to it I could hear it there hopefully that doesn't come through into the audio recording that you're listening to but if it does it's something to consider and this is all fair this is something that you need to consider when you're buying these headsets and again, look at the price, $52.99. While it's on sale, it's definitely still a hell of a deal. And back to the Plantronics one more time. Again, right away you should be able to hear there's a lot of hiss in this microphone and a little bit more high-endy and uh, not as much warmth as, say, what the SM7B has. So... I hope this is helping you kind of distinguish the difference between these three gaming headsets. And back to the Mix Cedar gaming headset. And of course, I've been sharing with you the uh, blue fade in and fade out effect, the RGB lighting. If that's something that you like, it is a feature. You don't have to do anything to do that as long as uh, the headphones are active or being used, then they will pulsate. I also wanted to comment about the comfort of this headset. Uh, very comfortable. I know you can't see anything right now. You can't see them on my head or anything. We know what headsets look like on, on people's fat heads, and you don't need to see it. <laughs> but I can tell you, it's definitely comfortable. I could wear these for a long time. I can feel the difference between the way these feel and my Plantronics. Plantronics are a little bit looser, um, which... With these, they grab a hold tight, and they also cancel out the sound around in the room, which is really, really cool. Not completely, but they do a really good job, a much better job than the Plantronics headset. 
and I also don't feel like if I if I bend over that they're gonna fall over. So there is a lot of weight to this headset, but it still manages to grab a hold of my head and stay in place. It's not sliding all over the place. The mesh uh, inner ear cup feels great on the ear, as well as the uh, like pleather type substance that's on the actual ear cup that fits over the ear. It is very comfortable. And again back to the SM7B. Guys, I cannot thank Mix Cedar enough for checking out my channel and checking out my review videos. If you haven't watched any of the other review or unboxing videos, you can do so by clicking this icon right here, this little thumbnail. It'll take you to uh, my Retron 5 unboxing. You can also find a couple of Loot Crate and arcade block unboxings as well and then actually uh, earlier today I released an unboxing of something that I found on eBay I think that about wraps it up for the unboxing and review of the Mix Cedar gaming headset if you did enjoy it guys be sure to leave me a like and let me know what gaming headset you're using right now what you enjoy in a gaming headset thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.